Downtown Miami is gearing up for a monumental transformation as a symphony of construction is reshaping our skyline. Let's dive into all the exciting new projects that will redefine the landscape for years to come. Sepp Niakon here, Miami real estate broker and founder of Black Book Properties and condoblackbook.com. And my team and I would like to be your guide for all things Miami and Miami real estate. Today, I'm gonna to give you an in-depth and exclusive look at just how unbelievable downtown Miami's transformation is gonna be, and tour some of the most interesting and impactful developments coming to downtown Miami in the next few years. But before we go any further, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications to keep up to date with everything happening in our magic city. As of now, downtown is already an integral and historic part of Miami. It's a fairly small neighborhood with a big attitude and has a very bright future, but it wasn't always like this. My wife was born and raised in Miami, Miami Beach actually. Her dad was an assistant estate attorney with his office here in downtown Miami. And when she was growing up, he would forbid anyone in the family to come downtown after dark because it was downright scary. Fast forward 25 years and the city has transformed into a wonderful place to be day and night and with a lot more to come. To start, you have the Kaseya Center where the Miami Heat play and you can catch major concerts like Taylor Swift and Bad Bunny. You have several museums and theaters like the Perez Art Museum and the Arsh Center for the Performing Arts, the sprawling Bayfront Museum Park, or Maurice Ferre Park as they call it now, and lots of iconic condo buildings including the world-renowned 1000 Museum, home to Victoria and David Beckham, among other stars. And of course, you have the true old downtown area where our government center is, the courthouse, and so on. Plus, as good downtowns do, we have really great dining options here. I mean really good ones, including classic ceviche 105 and soya e pomodoro, plus newer well-received arrivals like Michelin noted new kitchen and Julian Henry's upscale food hall. Here, you also have the most complete network of transportation in Miami by a long shot, which makes its centrality to the rest of the city, the airport, and the beaches that much better. We have the Metro Mover that loops around downtown and Brickell, as well as the Metro Rail that takes you to the Miami airport, as well as north-south lines that take you up and down the county. It's also home to the main Miami station of the Brightline high-speed rail system, that takes you all the way to Orlando. And if you're driving, we have a direct exit from downtown to South Beach as well, with the potential for a Bay Link public transportation to and from the beach in the future as well. While the downtown skyline makes for some great drone shots, a decent portion of downtown Miami right now is really just not that pretty. It's patchy from block to block, and there's a ton of construction going on right now. It's dusty, it's under repair, but that's also where the beauty will come from. So let's get into the heart of this transformation that's going to turn this city into something almost unrecognizable in a few short years. Let's start with the retail, infrastructure, and lifestyle developments. The Miami World Center, a mixed-use project of epic proportions, is set to bring a new level of urban vitality to downtown just a few blocks west of Biscayne Boulevard. Under construction now for a few years, this 10-block project spanning 27 acres already has some completed buildings like the Paramount Miami World Center, as well as offices, condos, and apartments. But the Miami World Center is not finished yet. What's still left to be built includes more condo towers, which I'll get into a little bit later, plus apartments, retail shops, office spaces, an outdoor museum filled with public art, and a public plaza called World Square. Right now, visiting downtown often feels a bit of a chore for those who aren't located there. It's mostly a place to come to commute to your office and go home, or visit a restaurant and go home, or come for a concert or heat game and then, you guessed it, go home. But with these changes coming to World Center and the rest of our list to come in this video, it's gonna be a legitimate all day, all night destination hub with something for everyone. And if we're talking exciting changes coming to downtown, we have to talk about the Baywalk, Riverwalk, and Bayside Marketplace's transformation. This long-awaited dream is finally becoming a reality. The Baywalk, a project 40 years in the making, yes, you heard it, 40 years, is about 60% completed and rapidly heading towards completion. It'll span the entire length of the waterfront from Edgewater to the Miami River at the edge of Brickell. I live in Edgewater and I can't wait to be able to walk or ride my bike with my family if I can get my kids off their iPads from here all the way to Brickell along the bay. 
This project marks a significant stride in connecting Miami's waterfront, providing a scenic route for locals and visitors alike. Think safe, pedestrian, and bike-friendly paths with public artwork and easy access to a plethora of museums, restaurants, and retail offerings lined along the path and nearby. Connecting with the Baywalk and Riverwalk, downtown's current waterfront tourist trap, it's a trap. Bayside Marketplace is also getting a major luxury makeover, and I couldn't be happier. Word on the street is that Bayside's new owners have their sights set on upscaling the entire project with higher-end dining and entertainment experiences, bringing the large Bayfront spot to align better with the new Miami. And let's not forget the Miami Sky Views Ferris wheel, which has been a really nice iconic addition to the Miami skyline. Talking about icons, if you've been anywhere near downtown Miami lately, you cannot miss those massive concrete arms reaching to the sky. It looks like a mess right now. But once completed, this is gonna be called the Signature Bridge, which will span 1,025 feet over Northeast 2nd Avenue and Biscayne Boulevard. A colossal engineering feat of arching concrete and double-decked highways, the fountain is gonna redefine the Miami skyline with sweeping arches and will stand on its own as an absolute icon of Miami. In addition to improving traffic, it'll connect Edgewater and the downtown Bay Walk to nearby neighborhoods with a pleasant, continuous trail bike lanes, and more green space in the area too. All right, there's more. I'm out of breath, but we got to get through this, guys. I can't fail to mention the massive Flagler Street beautification project that has been going on for years and is now close to completion. Downtown Miami has so much going for it. Outside of these unique developments that will change how people live in downtown Miami, let's also take a look at the stunning real estate projects underway that will change where people live in downtown Miami. First, on the list is Waldorf Astoria Residences. This building represents the epitome of luxury and is already redefining our skyline and it hasn't even been built yet. Coming in at a whopping 100 stories, the Waldorf Astoria Miami will be the tallest residential tower south of New York. Architect Carlos Ott, with the help of Seeger Suarez, designed the building to resemble a pile of unevenly stacked glass cubes. It's really beautiful. At 1,049 feet tall, the Wall of Astoria Hotel and Residences will of course offer dramatic views of all of Miami. From Biscayne Bay to Brickell Avenue, downtown Miami, Key Biscayne, and South Beach. This iconic hotel and condo tower are set to grace the Miami skyline in 2027, offering unparalleled elegance and world-class amenities, and truly extraordinary views of the city and bay. I talked about the Miami World Center project earlier. Let's talk about the new condo towers that are planned there and currently under construction, so you can get a sense of how complete this mini neighborhood is shaping up to be. Starting with the Crosby, this tower is being developed by the Related Group and is already under construction with a 2024 completion date. While it's fully sold out, the Crosby offers fully furnished studios to two bedroom units from about 400 to 1,000 square feet. The Crosby will have no rental restrictions, a wonderful benefit to you as a buyer if you're looking for a short-term rental investment that you can throw onto Airbnb. Another great concept under construction at the Miami World Center is the Legacy Hotel and Residences. Also slated for completion in 2024, the Legacy is a super unique tower and the first of its kind because it's built for optimal health and performance. The ideal residence for athletes and ultra healthy, the 50-story tower designed by Kobe Carp is home to a 50,000 square foot medical center for health and performance, offering therapies such as sports medicine, IV nutrition therapy, altitude training, and cryotherapy. Residents will also get access to a one acre pool deck with a Singapore style cantilevered sky pool, America's largest rooftop glass atrium, a members only international business lounge, restaurants, and much more. Each of the 549 fully furnished micro residences will feature exquisite designs. Plus, there are no rental restrictions, so you can rent this out daily if you want. Another super tall just down the street at 555 North Miami Avenue is Ocan Tower. Beautifully shaped like a tulip, this 76-story condo hotel will deliver 294 hotel rooms, 236 condo hotel units, and 149 condo residences, plus four penthouses, because one penthouse is not enough, not in Miami. Slated to be completed in 2026 or 2027, the hotel component of the building will be managed entirely by Hilton. Ocan Tower will also have 64,000 square feet of Class A office space. Just up the street from Ocan Tower, we also have 11 hotel and residences, 11 beyond, and West 11th residences. You guessed it. 
These are three sister projects that are being developed by the team behind the legendary 11 nightclub. So think over the top, 24 seven indulgent, luxurious fun. These three projects will seamlessly blend opulent residential spaces with Miami's world-renowned nightlife experiences. District 11, as they call this new sub-neighborhood, got a special zoning permit to become the first 24-hour district, not only in South Florida or Miami, but in all of Florida. You have to picture this as a mini Las Vegas with something spectacular to do every hour of the day, just without the gambling. And as part of the exciting new District 11 development, Residences will enjoy personalized concierge services, a curated team of chefs, mixologists, restaurateurs, private lounges, and priority event access to everything happening in the world of 11. 11 hotel and residences will allow daily rentals, of course, and should be completed by 2025. 11 Beyond will be a bit more residential, allowing monthly rentals, not daily, although it will be connected to the 11 hotel and residences by a one-way sky bridge, so you don't miss out on all the fun. It should be finished in 2026. Then there's West 11th Residences, which will also allow daily rentals, and it'll be completed around the same time as the second tower. In whole, this groundbreaking fusion of high-end living and a 24-7 entertainment zone truly sets these projects apart. Last on our list, ironically, is called 501 First. Completely sold out and under construction, this is shaping up to be a spectacular 40-story luxury tower with 448 condos from studios to two bedroom residences. And like many others on our list, it will offer short-term rental options with no rental restrictions. On schedule for 2024 completion, living here, you'll be treated to some outstanding amenities, including a 75 foot resort style lap pool, a greenhouse, specialized fitness center, a pet lounge, and more. As you can see, downtown Miami is the city's diamond in the rough. And mark my words, if you haven't bought or invested here yet, you'll be wishing you had in about three years. Miami Skyline will undergo a complete metamorphosis. We're here for it and we invite you to join us. If you have any questions or ready to invest or move to downtown Miami or the nearby areas, please reach out to us. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on Miami's ever-changing landscape. As always, I'm Sep Neocon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.